this morning. Can we put our hands together and begin to rejoice in the name of the Lord this morning? For our God is great and he is greatly to be praised. God, we honor you in this house on this morning. We humble ourselves in your presence that you may come the more into our souls, God. Lord, we take the time to honor you in all of your glory and all of your majesty and in all of your splendor. Father, we say, Father, you're welcome here to dwell among us, your children, the sheep of your pasture. God, we ask that you would lead and guide us into all things concerning you on this morning. We even ask, Lord, that you would take control of our minds on this morning, God, that our minds would align up with your will. We ask, oh God, that you continue to be our cover and our shield, our protection. Continue to plead your blood over our lives each and every day, Father God. Cover us in your grace and your mercy. But Father God, we enter into your house today to give you glory, honor, and praise for the wonderful things that you have already done for us, God. We thank you for lifting our heads up, Father. We thank you for comforting us, God. We thank you for being the encourager of our hearts, God. In the name of Jesus. And we just want to come to magnify you, Father, to give you praise today. Because you've been so kind unto us, Lord. You've been so merciful. And we want to say thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love that flows in our hearts each and every day. We thank you for renewing our spirits, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that every prayer we pray, Father God, you've answered. You showed up. You came through. You met every need. And, Father, we say thank you for life today, Lord. Thank you our minds are stayed on you, Father, because it's been you that has kept us in perfect peace. And, Lord, even today we ask for added strength, God. As we go about this day, Father, doing what you've called us to do, we ask, oh, God, that your spirit be present among us, God. That it would heal and deliver and set free on today, Father. In the name of Jesus. And we've been asked, oh God, that you will bless the word of God. Bless the man of God. Father God, allow him to stand in your strength, your grace, your truth. In the name of Jesus. And we pray, oh God, that every soul, everywhere on the earth will know you. In the name of Jesus. Because your word is being taught and is being preached, Father. We ask, oh God, that hearts are open to receive your spirit this day. For to your son Jesus' name, that we welcome you into this atmosphere. Come on, can you bless the name of our Savior? Oh, come on, you know he's deserving of praise and worship. At this time, we ask that you would just begin to worship the Lord with the fruit of your own lips. As we enter into his presence on this morning. Just begin to tell him that you love him, you adore him, you appreciate him. God, you're welcome here, you're welcome here. We create an ideal environment just for you. That you would dwell among us. You would walk among us, God. In the name of Jesus, where we open our hearts to you. We surrender all unto you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Come on, can you just lift your hands and worship him? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. He's my high tower. He's 
He's my high tower And I will call on the name of the Lord Who is worthy to be praised I will call on the name of the Lord Who is worthy to be praised I will call on the name of the Lord who is Oh, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll forever call your great name. We'll forever call your great name. Because there's nothing like calling on the name of Jesus. And when I call him, my situations will change. When I call him, oh God, hallelujah, he'll restore me in my weakness. Somebody just say, Jesus, we need your presence right now. Jesus.
Hallelujah. That's the highest praise we can give. Yes. Hallelujah. I will call on the name of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Because he's worthy to be praised. Jesus. Demons tremble at that night. The Bible tells us that every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. The Bible tells us the name of Jesus. Bodies are healed. The deaf can hear. The blind can see. At the name of Jesus. We come to glorify him on this morning. We come to give him everything that we can give him on this morning. I will call on the name of the Lord. Glory to your name, God. Today's scripture is coming from the book of St. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verses seven through eight. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that seeks, reacts, receives. And he that seeks, finds. And to him that not, it shall be open. Thank you, Lord. And Thank today you, Lord. the word of the Lord has been blessed. Let's bow our heads before Thank the throne. Thank you, Lord. God, we come before you just to tell you, God, first that we love you. Yes, sir. Yes, we love you, Father. God, we love you more than anything, God. Yes, yes. God, have your way this morning. Yes, Lord. God, shift this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. God, that we can receive everything that you are given on this morning. God, we come to tell you, God, that we love you, God, that yeah, you're beautiful, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. God, that you're awesome, God. Yes, you are. God, thank you for my brothers and my sisters that's here on yes, this morning, God. God. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you for those that's watching us thank live Lord. right now, thank God. You, Lord. God, thank you, for our God, Father God, that for those that's seeking you, God, on another level, God. Yes, 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 God, answer yes, their prayers, Father yes, God. Yes, yes, God. God, those that's knocking on the door, God, open the door for them, God. God, you see what your people are in need of, God. God, on this spot of ground, God, we just want to thank you, God, yes, for an atmosphere, God, that we can worship you, God, freely, God, yes, with no restrictions, God. Yes, yes. God, thank you, Father God, yes. for allowing us, God, to be here, God, yes. to worship you, God, yes. collectively, God, yes. to honor you, God, yes. to glorify you, God. Yes, God, thank you for this week, God. Thank you for covering, God. Thank you for protection, God. God, thank you for providing, God. God, thank you, God, for the angels. Thank you for the overseers, God. Thank you for the pastors, God, of this Father Brown, God. God, continue, God, to guide them, Father God. God, thank you, God, for pastors, God, that who keep their mind stayed up on you, Father God, in spite of, God. God, give them added strength. God, give them added protection, Father God. And God, continue to sow in them, Father God. God, we just want to tell you, God, that we honor you. And God, we're seeking more of you on this morning. God, we're seeking your very presence, God. Allow the hand that's on our head to stand up, God, when we hear your word on this morning, Father God. God, thank you for the praise team, Father God. Thank you for the positions, Father God. Thank you for everything that's transpiring right now on this morning. God, thank you for the shield. Thank you, Lord. God, many don't understand it, God, but thank you for the shield. Yes, God. That, God, we want to receive more of you right now, Father God. Right now. God, we want to feel your very presence. Yes, Have down our way, God. Yes, it's not our will in here, God, but it's your will, Father God. Yes. So, God, you do as you please, Father God, on this Father ground. Yes, Continue to cover this congregation. Continue to cover your people, God. Yes. With the precious blood of Jesus. Because God, we know, God, that you are in control. Yes, you are. And we leave it all in your hands. Yes, sir. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's magnify the name of our Savior this morning. Y'all may be seeing the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. How I many want the Lord to not pass you by in this season of your life? Amen. Somebody say, Lord, please do not pass us by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask that you would join in with us as we worship the Lord on this morning. Amen. <laughs>
pass me by. While on others, thou art calling. A lot of people calling on God at this present moment, but God, while others are calling, hear my call. Hear my humble cry. And attend to my cry. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise one more time. Come on. We give God glory, honor, and praise for this day as he has allowed us my, my, to my, my, my. <clears throat> once more come into his presence. Yes. Yeah. The Bible declares unto us in the presence of the Lord, there is certainly fullness of joy. Yes, yes, yes. And at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Thank God for worship. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank God for worship. Thank you, Father God. It's in worship that we are able to touch God. And God's able to touch us and show us exactly who He is. My Lord. Our My Lord. He's our strength. Yes, He is. The yes, old folks would say He's our all in all. Yes, He is. Today we worship him and we honor him for who he is. Now you will turn with me to Psalms 42. We're going to pick up where we were on last week. The 42nd number of Psalms. Amen. Psalmist says, as the deer pants, verse 1, mm -hmm. for the water brooks. So my soul pants, it longs oh, yes. for you, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Mm. My soul thirsts for God. For the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night. While they continually say to me, where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with a multitude. I went with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and praise of the multitude that kept the pilgrim's feast. Father, we bless you. <clears throat> yes, Lord. We thank you, God, for yet another day's journey. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. God, we're glad about it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. God, we've come through the fire. We've come through the flood. Yes, Lord. We've come through danger seen and unseen. It was your hand yes. that yes. was guiding us yes. and leading thank us. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, that no hurt, harm, or danger came now out of thank, yeah. thank, thank, thank you that you are our shield you, and our buckler. Yes. Thank you that you are present help in the time of need. Yes. God, when the storms are raging, God, you are there as our shelter. Yes. Thank you, God. With all of the things that are going on in this world, you've yet shielded us and protected us from the onslaught of the enemy. Thank you, God, for this morning, God, a day that was not promised. Thanks, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yet you've given it unto us. And we're grateful for it. Have thine own way, God. As we continue to worship you, God. In word, as we continue to worship you in spirit and in truth, God, as we continue to seek your face, yes. give us what we have need of, God. Yes, For you know our hearts. Yes, you know the very desire thereof. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Today, God, we commit our ways to you that yes. you may establish our faults even the more. Yes, we tell you that we love you and we bless you. Yes. Open the eyes and the ears of your people, even the very hearts, yes, yes, that they may receive yes, your word. Yes, oh Speak to me as only you can. In Jesus' name, yes, amen. amen. Take your seats with a shout. Hallelujah. 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 
We're continuing on this morning talking from the subject title, More. All right. More. Wanting more of God. We established last week that wanting more of God is that of wanting a greater degree of. Mm -hmm. That the ordinary just won't do. Mm -hmm. It's not sufficient. That we want so much more of God that we won't allow anything or anybody to hinder us yeah. in our pursuit of God. Strangely, many people don't find themselves wanting more of God until disaster has befallen them. And true, that is a good time to seek God. But as the old folks say, we got to store up some timber. Yes, yeah. Lord. Hmm. That is that when the storms come, we got some prayers that are already stored up. Amen. That we've been speaking to God and God will move on our behalf because if we've seen him do it before, yeah. Yeah. we know that he's well able yeah. to do it again. Yes, Lord. We want more of God. Yes. A greater degree of God. That it's about going deeper. Mm -hmm. That surface praise and surface worship, it's not enough. Yes. It can get you through the day, but you need more than the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need the week and the month and the years to come. Yes. A greater degree of God that will cause you to go deeper in your study, deeper in your seeking of him. Yes. This is a psalm of the sons of Korah. Mm -hmm. If we remember Korah, Korah was the cousin of Moses. Mm -hmm. And Korah was a priest. It is Korah who led a failed revolt against Moses and Aaron. When it is that Korah was dissatisfied uh, and displeased with his lot in the priesthood. Mm -hmm. He wanted so much more and wanted to rise in revolt against Moses and Aaron. In so much so that the Bible speaks on this wise, that he gathered the people and the leaders, the priests, against them because it was the fact that he believed that God would speak to more than just Moses and Aaron especially if men had availed themselves to God in the priesthood for the doing of his will and his service. Mm -hmm. And all of these men, just as you look from the book of the old and you see Satan, who is the dragon, mm -hmm. who influenced a third of the angels and influencing a third of the angels, he too led a revolt against God. The anointed covering cherub who was there in the heavens and we see in the Bible that Jesus says he beheld Satan like lightning fall from the sky, tempting to overthrow God. The ancient of days he realized that God was not willing to abdicate his throne and overthrow himself for anybody because he's God and besides him there is yeah. none other. Yeah. And the sons of Korah we see this man leading a revolt against Moses, a failed revolt, might I, add, might I add, against Moses. And while he's leading this failed revolt, Moses challenges them. And Moses says, I tell you what, we're going to meet at the temple tomorrow. And when we meet at the temple, he says, I want you to bring all of your people and we're going to see whom God has chosen as his leader to lead his people, the man of authority who's in charge. And the Bible declares that when they get to the temple, Moses pronounces a curse upon Korah. And there, when he pronounces this curse upon Korah, the Bible says that the ground opened up up under Korah and all of his people, the houses and everything went through the ground and the Bible says that the ground closed up on top of them. Yes. The Bible says at that moment a fire came out and burned up 250 men who were standing there with Korah. Mm -hmm. 14,000 people died mm -hmm. as a result of a man trying to overthrow the authority of God. Uh-huh. I want to tell you something today. 
we still got people like that. Yes, sir. That feel like they can overthrow what God has established. Mm -hmm. Touch not my anointing. Yes. And do, he says, my prophet uh -huh. no harm. Yes, yes, yes. And though we see how Korah and all those were with him mm -hmm. were handled by the wrath of God, yet these are sons of Korah who endured that and still have a longing for God. Mm -hmm. They're in exile. And in exile, they're yet seeking the face of God. Yes. You'll be amazed of how many people who go into captivity and go into exile and turn their back on God. My, my. Because God, if, if you're God, mm -hmm. why would you allow this to happen? Uh, it was the Israelites when they were in captive in captivity there in Babylon that, that, that they went to the Israelites and, and said, sing us one of your songs. Yeah. And the Israelites says, how can we sing the song of the Lord in a barren land? Yeah. It's barren. It's, it's dry here. And, and, and you're asking us to sing the song of the Lord. And I want to tell you something. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. Yeah. It doesn't matter how dry or how parched the place is. If you open up your mouth in that moment, mm -hmm. the blessings of the Lord will come out of your mouth and it will begin to encourage you and it will equip you to continue to seek God. Paul and Silas is in a Roman a dungeon and, and the Bible says at midnight, they start singing and praying to the Lord. And the Bible says that their shackles were broken. Mm -hmm. but, but not only were their shackles broken, but everybody in the prison. Yeah. That's why we try to get y'all to understand that when worship goes forward, you have the ability to loose your partner yeah. who's on your own. Your worship can loose somebody else because Paul and Silas were praying and praising God and singing to God. Everybody in the prisons were loose. Yes, sir. And the Bible says it was that when the guards had came looking mm -hmm. for them, and they were loose, and they were getting ready to kill themselves. And Paul said, no, don't do yourself no harm. Yeah. We all here, yeah. mm -hmm. and we're accounted for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every once in a while, you got to realize that no matter what you are going through in life, yeah. you got to praise God. Yeah. Yeah. You got to open your mouth. The Bible says, sing to yourself yeah. in songs mm -hmm. and in hymns. And spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Yes. You don't need a praise and worship team. You don't need a choir. You don't need a musician. All you need is a psalm and a hymn. Yes. Amen. Amen. You sing to the Lord. And freedom will come. Yes. This man is in exile. And yet he's writing. Lord, my soul is thirsty. Mm -hmm. Some of us are not even in exile. Right. Some of us are not even in captivity. Some of us are free as the morning bird. And still, we're not longing for God. Right. Help us, Lord. The Help people us. right now, Lord. who are incarcerated all over the world, who wish that they could go back and do again mm -hmm. their first works okay. over. They wish they could go back and, 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 and redo what they did so that they would not be in the position they are in today. And here we are hmm. without freedom. Yes, sir. No craving for God. Hmm. No thirst for God. We're just here just to be here, not even understanding the purpose in which God has for us. Yes, sir. Every once in a while, God will allow a thing to come upon you yes. just to see where you are. Yes. God will allow a test in your life. And if you don't believe me, all you got to do is read the book of Job. Yes. The Bible says that, that the Lord said to Satan, have you considered yeah. My servant Job, uh -huh. when God got that much faith in you, watch this, he'll let the enemy come and conceal you because he already knows yes, that sir. though he slay me, yes. Yes. yet will I trust him. Job had the ability, watch this, to continue to keep his mind steadfast 
on the Lord. Job had the ability to continue to seek God even though his wife went a different route. He kept his eyes on the Lord because Job knew that the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm still going to bless him because I didn't even deserve what I do have. That when you learn how to seek God, when all is going wrong, it says that your spirit man is still tapped in. Yes. That when you're seeking God and you want more of God, despite what you are going through, it will not cause you to give up and tap out, but you will continue to seek God with all that you have. That's why Isaiah says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. He may be found. Yes, Lord. Call upon him while he is near. We established last week that, watch this, only God can satisfy spiritual thirst. Uh -huh. Only God can satisfy spiritual thirst. And many of us, watch this, we're going out here trying to satisfy our thirst, quench our thirst. We're going after all of these things, but we're doing ourselves further detriment. We're bringing further problems in our lives because only God can create yes, in God. you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. When you are after God and you are thirsty for God, nothing else will do. Nobody yes. else will do because yes. only God can satisfy your spirit spiritual thirst. They are in exile. Yes, sir. And they remember Thank the Lord. worshiping God at the temple. This man has a desire to get back to that place mm -hmm. where he remember taking a pilgrim's feast with his friends, walking to the temple and worshiping with God. And yet here they are in a place where they can't get to God. Have you ever been in a place where you felt as if God was not there? You were knocking, you were seeking, you were asking, and yet you heard nothing? Come on, sir. Absolutely. The songwriter says he was there. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Yes, Lord. Yes, watching and waiting Lord. patiently. Yes. And like he was there. All, All the, time. the time. Thank you, Father. We establish also. But watch this, when your soul is out of alignment uh -huh. and your mental is off and you feel dried up and weary, you need to find your way to the fountain of living waters. You, 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 you can't go to nobody else. You can't go to nothing else. That's why, watch this, that's why the drug addict is still a drug addict. That's why the drunkard is still a drunkard. That's why the prostitute is still a prostitute. That's why the gangbanger is still a gangbanger. That, that's why the dope dealer is still a dope dealer. Because they keep going to things and getting fixes, amen. But they ain't going to the fixer. If you ever go to the parlor, the parlor can put you back together again. He knows everything about you. And when you get hungry for God and you get thirsty for God, it touches God in a way that causes him to come yeah. down and see about his children. The Bible says, I called unto the Lord and he heard me. When you call on God. Thank you, Father. Here, here, here. A broken heart and a contrite spirit is a sacrifice that yes. he said he will not overlook. Will not. Thank you, Lord. And when you're there, <laughs> God will hear you and he will come and see about you. Yes. But you got to get focused. I told you last week. I told you last week. The way that you spell more is focus. Mm -hmm. F-O-C-U-S. Why? Because focus means that this is what you are interested in. When you lose your focus, it means you have lost interest. Anybody who is not focused is not interested. Right. If you go and look up the definition of focus, <laughs> it's what it means. That if you're not focused, it means you're not interested. Yes, sir. So when you want more of God, you are interested in him and you're focused on him. That's why Job, Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Yeah, you have thrown my hip out of socket, but I cannot, I will not, I dare not let you go until you bless me because you're the only one that can bless me. Yes, yes, Lord. When you're thirsty for God, when you're hungry for God, yes. you're not going to let anything and anybody get in your way. 
That's why I don't understand how we come half-hearted to God. How, how, how we just present ourselves in a kind of way that when you want God, you throw yourself on the mercy of the court. That when you want God, nothing else will do. When you want God, you bring all of you to God. When you want God, you seek him diligently. The Bible says when you seek me with your whole heart, that's when you won't find him. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You can't come to him half-hearted mm -hmm. thinking that you're going to find him. That if you want God, you got to bring all of you to the table. It can't just be your mind. It's got to be your hands and your eyes. Yes, sir. Can't just be your hands and your eyes. It got to be your ears and your mouth. You got to bring your soul. You got to bring your spirit. You got to bring all of yes, you to sir. God. Yes. Because if not, it's going to be hard to find God. You need to find your way to the fountain of living waters. Somebody shout because true life. Because true life depends upon water. Depends upon water. That's right. True life depends upon water. I don't care what your favorite beverage is. When you get dried up and dehydrated, if you can't drink water, they're going to stick something in your arm. And when they stick that in your arm, what is it for? It is the fact of dehydration in your life. The psalmist says, my soul is thirsty. Referencing his soul as a deer. Who is in the wilderness looking for a body of water. Yes. That this deer drinks this water until his thirst is quenched. Mm -hmm. But referencing the water as being God. When shall I come, he says, and appear before you? Hmm. When will this exile be over? When can I come back into the sanctuary of the Lord? David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes, I, Lord. I, I was glad. Why? Because I realized if I can get in the house of the Lord, all of the things that are disturbing me, I won't have to worry about. Because when I get in his presence, watch this, my, my problems can't go into his presence with me. When I get into his yes, presence, God. all of this heaviness can't go into his presence. He said he shall hide me in the Secret of his pavilion. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. But the enemy cannot get to me. Yes, yes. And when you're hungry for God, hungry. nothing else will do. Mm -hmm. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. When, when, when it came to the point where I really wanted to change my life, Lord, I, I had been in church all my life. Mm -hmm. But when I really wanted to change my life, yeah, exactly. yeah. I found a little orange Gideon Bible. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember the little Bible? If it wasn't orange, it was green. I had the orange. And, and in, the, in the Gideon Bible, it, it's got, watch this, Proverbs. It's got Psalms. It's got Ecclesiastes. And then watch this, it jumped over to Matthew. <laughs> those, those, those were the important books, and it gives you the rest of the New Testament. And every day, I'd walk around on my break. At work, I, I read that Bible, and I, I have so many markings in that Bible that if you ask me anything, I go right to it. You, you understand what I'm saying? And, and I wanted more of God until one day I told my wife, I said, I think the Lord is calling me to pastor. She's like, <laughs> I don't know about that one, Gerald. But I said, watch this. I've got to obey his voice. Watch this. I wasn't looking for pastoral shit. I was looking for a minister music position. And she didn't want to go to my church. Y'all heard it before. I didn't want to go to her church. Huh? Uh, she was apostolic. I was Baptist. Y'all ain't talking to me here. And, and we said, well, we got to find us a place where we can bring our family together and we can worship together. I said, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to go and we're going to visit a couple of places. And we went and visited a couple of places. And, and, and I ended up going to a place last well, I said, well, let me go where I used to play drums when I was in high school. And let's just go over there and worship with them. And went over there and worship with them, Lord have mercy. And my wife looked over at me and she said, where you got me at? <laughs> it was a commotion going on in the church. And, and I said, just, 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 just still. I just want to speak to everybody before I leave. And watch this. And speaking to everybody before I left, I became the interim pastor 
of that church. I wasn't looking to stand and preach the gospel. Pastor said, preacher, you still preaching? I said, I am, but not really. I am, but not really. Suggest that I had just came back to God. I just got married. I just read my Bible again. Y'all ain't talking to me. And, and I was deep in my Bible and, and I was reading and she said, well, I'll tell you what. I want you to come Sunday and I want you to preach. And that Sunday led from another Sunday. That Sunday to another Sunday. That Sunday to another Sunday. And, and I was there for about two months preaching two months straight. Then all of a sudden, another brother came in and that brother stopped preaching and, and, and so on and so forth. Watch this. And, and I was like, Lord, now, now what it is? <laughs> Watch this. God said, I ain't promised you nothing. He said, be still. That brother preached for one Sunday. And after that Sunday, everything else was me standing, mm -hmm. receiving more of God. Yes. Sitting down at the table with my father-in-law with the breaking of the bread. We were speaking and going in over the word of God, going back and forth, debating on things. But it wasn't public debate. It was us privately debating the scriptures from an apostolic position because that's where he was from and me from a Baptist position but the fact that God had delivered me and told me that it wasn't nothing about no denomination. Whenever a man puts a denomination on the church, what he is trying to do is indoctrinate you according to that particular denomination. And this is what we believe in Kojic and this is what we believe in Baptist and this is what we believe in Church of God but at the end of the day the Bible said one Lord, yes. one faith, one baptism. When we talk about the apostolic doctrine, we talking about what the apostles preach. When we say apostolic doctrine, it ain't got nothing to do with no movement. It ain't got nothing to do with no denomination. When we talk about Pentecostal movement, it ain't no Pentecostal movement. This is what happened on that particular day. We can't frame a denomination out of the words that we hear out of the Bible. Church of Christ is built on a particular verse. Amen. On this rock, Peter, mm -hmm. I build my church, mm -hmm. and the gates of hell mm -hmm. shall not prevail against it. That ain't a denomination. That's the truth. Yes. Come on. That's the truth. I build it on this rock, Petro, Peter, Cephas. Yes. Upon this truth, upon this found, this sound foundation, I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. When you want more, you're not going to let somebody sit down and indoctrinate you. When you want more, you yes. understand more means going deeper yes, with God. Lord. Yes, Lord. This is why he tells us in 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show yourself approved unto God. Not man need it not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. You can't rightly divide with those unless you're with those who rightly divide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's important. That we understand this. Because if not, watch this. We'll find ourselves eating and drinking from fountains that never quench our thirst. That's why people walk away from the church today. Because they're tired of the games. But at the end of the day, let me tell you. You can walk away from the church, but if you ever walk away from God. Come on, sir. You hear me? And if truth be told, if you really got God down on the inside of you, you don't walk away from no church. Right. Nobody can uproot you from where God has planted you. Talk That's to me and right, somebody. Amen. If you're going to be in the church, and the sum is, watch this, they're crying out, asking for God to quench the thirst. When you understand that, you understand Psalms 143 and 6. I stretch out my hand to you. My soul longs for you. As a parched land. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been empty spiritually? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So empty spiritually that if God didn't show up, my, my, my. <laughs> yes, sir. you won't go make it through the day yes, that alone the night. Yes, sir. Yes. The psalmist says, Day and night, my tears was my food. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He was crying so much. 
He wanted God so desperately that he couldn't eat. Yes. Yes. He couldn't eat. He pushed his plate away desperately looking forward to that day when he could return to the house of God and worship God. He wanted more yes. of God. Yes. 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 When you want more of God, yes. not everything or anything else can satisfy you. Jesus says, watch this, in John 6 and 35, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me, watch this, will never hunger. And he who believes in me will never thirst. Watch this. <clears throat> he says, when you come to him, you won't hunger again. When you believe in him, you won't thirst again. This is why we need the word. We don't need no additives. additives. We, 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 we don't need you to season it. We, we, we don't need you to do, do to it anything because the word of God is enough. It is sufficient. Oh, yes. That's why we need the word of God. Yes, right. John 7 and 37 through 38, Jesus says, if anyone thirsts, mm -hmm. let him come to me and drink. Yeah. He who believes on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We talked about last week the Samaritan woman at the well. Yeah. Jesus says, if you knew who it was who says to you, give me a cup of water, mm -hmm. you would give it. Yeah. Jesus says, if you drink from this well, yeah. you will surely thirst again. But if you drink this living water yeah. that I give you, you will never thirst again. She said, sir, Give me that living water that I will not thirst again. And when she got a hold of that living water, she went back down into the town and she said, come see a man. Come see a man who told me all about myself. See, whenever you get thirsty for God and that thirst is quenched, you go and tell somebody else, come see a man who told me all about myself. When you are hungry and when you are thirsty, your soul shall be filled. He who hungers and thirsts after righteousness, according to Matthew 5 and 6, shall yes. be filled. Yes. Yes. You're filled. Thank you, Lord. That's why you can't get some people off the wall. Thank you, Lord. No, I ain't going to the club with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't going to hit the blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I don't need a Hennessy. Come on, uh, I don't need anything. I, I don't need a butt light. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I don't need butt wiser. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? Uh, I don't need ecstasy pills. You hear me? Uh, I, I don't need a one night stand. On, uh, I, 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 I don't need any of that. I'm satisfied. Yes, 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 yes. I'm satisfied. When, 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 when my soul is satisfied, it doesn't mean that the enemy ain't going to come at you. That's right. That's right. But what it means is because I'm satisfied, yeah. <laughs> nobody can do me like he did. Thank the Lord. Nobody can hold me like he holds me. Nobody can keep me like he keeps me. Nobody can bless me like he blessed me. So I'm satisfied, as the old folks will say, with Jesus and with Jesus alone. I'm satisfied. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My soul is thirsty. Thank you, God. Psalm 63 and 1 says, Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I what? Seek thee. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh. Watch this. And a dry and thirsty land mm -hmm. where there is no water. Oh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm hungry for God. And, yes, Lord. And, and believe it or not, that's why that attack came Thursday. You can say what you want to say, say what you want to say. I got in God's face and I said, God, it's time for us to go deeper. It's time for us to take things to another level. God, it's time for us to seek you for real. And this attack came. Mm -hmm. Come on. Messed me up so bad. All I could do was go home and just get in the bed and go to sleep. But God showed me this is why it's going to be so impactful. Mm -hmm. This is why it's going to be so successful. Come on, sir. Because whenever God gets ready to take you to the next level, watch this, there's going to always be some opposition. Always. Always. 
The enemy will always show his hand just to see if you're for real about what you're doing. Right. When they told the apostles, did not we tell you not to speak in this name? Watch this. You can call Buddha. You can call anybody else co co uh, co uh, uh, Confucius and, and Krishna and, and, and Allah. You, you can call all them. You can say God. You can say Lord. But don't you say Jesus. That name disturbs folks. That name makes demons tremble. That name makes people so angry. Jesus. Because salvation is in no other name. No other name. Come on, sir. There is no other name given under the heavens whereby men may be saved. Except the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. At his name, every knee will bow. Yes. Every tongue will confess. Yes. That Jesus yes. is Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Revelation 22 and 17 says, Watch this. The spirit and the bride say, Come. Let the one who hears say, come. Yeah. And let the one who thirsts, come. Yeah. And let the one who wishes to take of the water of life without cause, mm -hmm. let him come. Oh. That's an invitation that God has given to everybody who will meet him in that new Jerusalem. My Lord. Who will be there with him in Thank that you, place. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where every day will be Sunday. Yeah. And the Sabbath will have no oh. end. Every day will be howdy, howdy. Every day will be worshiping. Every day will be blessing him. Yeah. Songwriter says, this is just a rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we get to heaven, y'all, yeah. we're going to really sing. Yes, Lord. Now, let me get out of here. Yes, Lord. Journeying for God in the midst of chaos and distress highlights the crave for God's presence in one's life. Can I say that one more time? Yeah. Yearning for God in the midst of chaos and distress highlights the crave, Lord have mercy, uh, for God's presence in one's life. When faced with trauma, opposition and depression, the mind bends in anxiety. The heart quakes with uncertainty. As the soul longs for hope. Not many recover from anxiety and depression. Not many recover from anxiety and depression. They find themselves in cyclic behavior patterns engaging in temporary satisfaction. Sat things that satisfy them just to ease the pain long enough to get through the day. This is because, watch this, unconsciously. They have more faith in being enslaved to their condition than they do in their freedom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have more faith in our being enslaved in our conditions than we do in our freedom. Mm -hmm. Because we've been here this long, it seems as if nothing else will happen for us. Nothing will free us. Nothing will come to benefit us. So I might as well die right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help Lord. The Bible talks about lepers. Leper says, if we stay here, mm -hmm. we're going to die. Right. If we go in the city and show ourselves, yeah. we're going to die. Mm -hmm. Look, we might well go and get them do what we're going to do. And they got up and went into and were blessed. Yes. That Jesus healed a leper and he told him, he said, go show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the priest knew that if you had leprosy, mm -hmm. you could not come into the camp of the people. But he told him, go show yourself to the high priest. He said, because I'm your priest. Yeah. I'm healing you. When you get to a place in life where you understand that you ain't got to die right here. You ain't got to die in this condition. You, you, you ain't got to lose all hope. You, you, yes. you ain't got to mess yourself up. When you get to the place where you understand that you can turn to God who is the yes. living fountain, when you can turn to him, he will hear you, he 
will answer you. He will deliver you and set you free. Somebody shout, you ain't got to die right here. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> you, you, you ain't got to die like this. A Paul says, who shall deliver me from this? He says, I thank God that Jesus Christ it is him who shall deliver me. Yes, Lord. Now, many recover from anxiety and depression. They find themselves in cyclic behavior patterns, engaging in temporary, temporary satisfaction. Amen. Just to ease the pain long enough uh, to get through the day. This is because, watch this, unconsciously, they have more faith in being enslaved to their condition than they do to their freedom. Watch this. This song is a tribute to the songs of Korah, uh, who were musicians. They wrote this song while they were in exile. I told you that. Mm -hmm. Desperately desiring to get to the temple to worship God. Again, in verse number four, they appeared. Watch this. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise with the multitude that kept a pilgrim's feast. Even while in exile, they hoped against hope. That's what the Bible yeah. says Abraham did. He hoped against hope. Watch this. That was no hope. This is an old man. He's about to die. There was no hope for him in having a son. But the Bible said he hoped against hope. Yeah. And God put a son in his loin. They hoped against hope with no possible way of escape. The psalmist turned their attention to the Lord with a deep heartfelt craving for God's presence. I don't know about you this morning restoration, but I know what it feels like watch this, to want God more and more each day. I, I, I know what it feels like to cry out to God and it seems like he's distanced from me and that watch this, he cannot hear me and I can hear the echo of my voice crying out from hollow places. God, why are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, I'm desperate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, I need you. Come on now. The only thing that I hear is the echo of my voice. Mm -hmm. Thanks be unto God yeah. that I learned how to wait on him. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes. Job says, I'm going to wait. Y'all, yeah. they're talking to me. Until my change come, yes. they don't wait upon the Lord. Yes. Shall renew that strength. He says, wait, I say, upon the Lord. When you learn how to wait on God. On the psalm it says, soul, wait thou only upon the Lord. Don't wait on nobody else. Don't wait on money. Don't wait on promotion. Don't, 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 don't wait on popularity. Don't, don't, wait on, don't wait on nobody but God. Wait on the Lord. Yes, Build Lord. good courage. Wait on the Lord. Build good cheer. Yes, Lord. When you learn how to Thank wait you, on Jesus. God. Thank you, Lord. Patiently. <laughs> He'll come through. Yes, it will. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this. This is exactly what the psalmist felt that he was experiencing a sense of abandonment and anxiety, overwhelmed with not being able to taste the presence of God. Oh, the psalmist says, oh, taste and see. Yes. Right. That the Lord is good. Yes, 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 when you can taste the presence of God, when you can sense the presence of God, that's why when the Holy Spirit hits you and other folks just looking uh, wise and otherwise, they don't know why you got a case of the K Hippies and you just worshiping God, just that's all good. of a sudden you lift your hands and you open your mouth and you yes. start worshiping God, wondering why it is that you're so excited. It's because I've tasted His presence. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, I've Lord. Tasted. Thank you, Father. Bible talks about those Thank who taste presence, of the goodness of God yes, and God. go back. Yes. Are like dogs that turn to their own vomit. Mm -hmm. When you taste of the presence of God, nothing else can satisfy. Oh, he exclaimed, watch this, he exclaimed, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you, oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God, not just any God, for the living. living God. When, he said, when shall I come and appear before you, God? When am I going to get the opportunity to get back into your house and worship you? My tears have been my food day and night while they continue to say to me, where <laughs> is your God? I'm in derision because folks are mocking me. 
I'm in exile. And they're mocking me, asking me, where you at? Mm -hmm. mm. It's one thing, watch this, to be in captivity. I'm almost finished. Jesus. Jesus. But it's another thing to be tormented and tortured by your captives. Especially to the degree of mocking and devalu devaluing your God and his ability to deliver. Watch <laughs> this. Two Hebrew boys says, watch this. King, even if not, <laughs> we still, we won't bow. Uh -huh. Even if he don't deliver us out of this fire, Come on, we sir. still won't bow. Yes, sir. God wants to know that when the flames have been turned up ten times higher in your life, Come on, sir. will you bow to the influence? Will you bow to popularity? Will you bow to the culture? Will you bow to the government? Or will you stand and say, for God I live and for God I got. If I got to die in this situation, to live is Christ. To die is gain. Yes, sir. Even if you don't, even if you don't, we still ain't going to bow. At that moment, the Bible says there was another who showed up that yes. looked like the Son of God there in the midst with them. Do you know how powerful this is? That he's in the fire with them. He didn't turn the fire down. He didn't deliver them out of the fire. And the Bible says when they came out, they didn't even smell at the smoke of the fire. I'm telling you, when he brings you out, Job says he knows the way that I have taken. And when he tried me in the fire, I shall come forth as pure gold. Yes, sir. God, God, God knows. Yes, sir. And so you have to understand. Glory to your name, God. Just because you're going through Thank you, Lord. doesn't mean that God ain't fair. Yes, sir. Sometimes God will sit quietly long enough yes, that you've exhausted all yes, sir. just to come to you come on now. and tell you how much he loves you and he's with you. Yeah. Elijah, I, I can see him. He, he's had the mountain and, and the Bible says rain came and, and, and the wind blew and, 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 and the storms came and all of that. Yeah. But when he yeah. heard yeah. a star, a small still, still voice, voice. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. he got up and he gathered himself. <laughs> Thank Sometimes Lord. you just need to hear the voice yeah. of the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Man. Devaluing and mocking God's ability to deliver you. And this was deliberate and intentional to ask, where is your God? They were deliberate and intentional about this. Uh, and verses, watch this, uh, 5 through 11 of our text. Watch this, the psalmist fears that God might no longer remember him because of his present state and the mocking of his captors. I don't know about you, but I've been in that place yes, where I say, God, am I still on your radar? God, come on now. Come on, I don't mean no harm, God, but I ain't heard from you. Come on, sir. Come on. I'm, 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 I'm crying. Yeah. I, I've been fasting. I've been praying. God, I've been seeking you. I've been calling on you. Yes, and, and, and I'm afraid, God, that you're not there. Help us, God. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Jesus says, I'll never forsake you. Mm -hmm. I'll never leave you. Thank you, Lord. I'm always with you, even yes. until the end of this age. Yes. I'm here to tell you, watch this, you, that you don't have to be physically exiled mm -hmm. to feel the absence of God in your life. Yes. You can be mentally and emotionally yes, exiled yes, sir. and feel the absence of God in your life. Satan, watch this, has a way of luring us into intoxicating and debilitating thoughts of abandonment. And rejection to the degree to the degree that watch this all you experience is trauma and depression yeah. every time you think about being loosed mm -hmm. and delivered <laughs> have, have, have you ever got to that place where you were so down and then all of a sudden you thought about the goodness of the law oh yeah and you got up yeah. only to be knocked exactly. back down again. come on now come on now the enemy can lure us into intoxicating and debilitating thoughts. All we ever experience is trauma 
and depression. That's why you got to get to the house of God. That's why the psalmist would say, when shall I appear before you, God? God, I remember yes. going to the house of God yes. with the pilgrim's feast. <laughs> now, I'm being treated like a dog. Mama. <laughs> He says, watch this, in verse number five, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Yeah. yeah. See, it's the soul of man, yeah. the spirit, the immaterial part of who we are that longs for God. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus told uh, the disciples, he says, I ask you to stay up and pray for me. He said, the spirit is willing, yes. but your flesh weak. is weak. Paul says, it is the spirit and the flesh that are imitated yeah. one towards another. That your soul is crying out, and, 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 and why art thou disquieted within me? My soul ain't even hoping. Mm -hmm. He's trying to wake his soul up to hope. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Wake up and call God. Yeah. Try him. The soul writer said, call him up and tell him. Come on. Talk to me. Come on now. Hope thou, he says, soul. Watch this. He's trying to give his soul a jump. A hope, soul in God. Yes. Yes. I know we're in exile. Hope, soul. Yes. In the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Hope thou in God. Mm -hmm. For I shall yet praise him. Watch this. For the help of his countenance. Yes. I ain't seen them yet. But I'm going to yet praise him for the help yes, of his Lord. countenance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He shall cause his countenance to shine upon me. Yeah, God. One day I'm going to see him and, and I'm going to experience freedom. Oh, my God, my soul yeah, God. is cast down within me. Therefore, he said, I will remember thee. Watch this. From the land of Jordan. Yes, Lord. Watch this. I'm going to remember you from the last time I was in worship. Yeah, with you. yeah. I'm in exile now, mm -hmm. but I'm going to remember yeah. you from the land of Jordan and the land of the Hermonites, from the hill of Mizar, deep calling unto deep at the noise of thy water sprout. What is he saying? He says, watch this, when he says deep call unto the deep at the noise of thy water sprouts, what he's saying is, he says, it's like I'm drowning in turmoil. I'm drowning over and over and over again. He said, but y'all ain't going to seek you. Yeah, Watch this. All thy waves, thy billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the Come daytime. Yeah. And in the night his song shall be with me. And my prayer unto the God of my life, I will say unto God, my rock. Yeah, why hast thou forgotten me? Lord, why go I mourning because of the depression or the oppression of the enemy? Why am I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, mm -hmm. my enemies reproach me while they say daily unto me, mm -hmm. where is your God? Why art thou cast down on my soul? This refrain is repeated over there in Psalms 4 to 3 and 5. Why art thou cast down on my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. Yes. For I shall yet praise him. Yes. Who is the health of my countenance. Yes. And my God. Yes, I want more of God. Yes, Lord. When, yes, when you understand wanting more of God, you understand that, watch this, the enemy will always bring about resistance mm -hmm. when you're trying to get to God. Because the enemy doesn't want you to serve God sincerely. The enemy wants to, watch this, cause you to deviate from the path 
and the purpose and the plan in which God has set forth in your life so that all you ever experience is the wrath of God on your life. Mm -hmm. Why? Because misery love company. Mm -hmm. Satan don't want this by itself. That's why all of the stuff that we face, we face it because he wants to destroy us. But when you can hope in God, yes, and you Lord. want more yes. of Him, no yes, matter Lord. what you're going through, yes, Lord. it causes the enemy to turn the fire up a couple of notches and hotter. Mm -hmm. Everybody stand. <laughs> Some years ago, I was sitting down worshiping God. And this little tune just came to me. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you is my desire. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you, Lord. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. It's my desire. Yes. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Here's my desire. Yes, Lord. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Hear my desire. Is that in about desire? Yes, Lord. I, I just want to be close to him. I, I want to be close to the living one. I, I want to be close to the bread of life. I, I, I want to be close to him. That, that's my desire. One thing have I desired, and that will I seek after. That yeah, I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, 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 just to be close to you. Hear my desire. Sing it with me. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. In my desire. Sing it one more time. Just to be.
that should be your daily confession just to be close to your God that's my desire I want more I want more I want more thank you Jesus clap your hands and give God praise come on we can do better than that <laughs> I don't know what that means to you, but that means so much to me. Yeah. Just to be that you're watching online. I'm not just speaking to those of you who are regular viewers who are not a part of this church, but I'm speaking to those of you who are members of this church. If you are electing to stay at home and watch the broadcast live, there is a different experience in the sanctuary than there is on that live feed. All right. And it's alright. It's, it's alright. It's alright to catch it live. But you need to be in the sanctuary in the presence of the Lord with this body of believers that we can unite ourselves and we can fellowship and we can worship God and impact the kingdom of God and empower the people of God and enhance the kingdom of God through our unity and our numbers. I want to encourage you. Come away from behind the screen. Come into worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're in a devastating time and that's coming a time when we're not going to have these Bibles and we're not going to have be able to broadcast live. I believe that that's coming a time where we're going to have to go back to underground church and all kind of stuff just to keep ourselves together. There are many things that are transpiring when we start talking about prophetic times and the end times yes, and, yes. And, and, and people, people are lukewarm today. People yes. are not looking at scripture. We're looking at wars and we're looking at rumors of wars. We're yeah. looking at pestilence and we're looking at famine. We're looking at all of these things, earthquakes and diver places. He didn't say this was the end. <laughs> he said this was the beginning of sorrow. Right. Right. It would behoove, behoove us to just get back into that place and do the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
I want to be obedient. And speak to God. Don't, don't let nothing and nobody, I don't care what has happened to you in times past in the church, don't let nothing and nobody separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. That means even his presence. Yes. Get back to the church. Yes, it's necessary. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you need an envelope, actually raise your hand. Gatekeepers will get that to you. Hallelujah. Those who are giving online, thank you. For all my givers. Find us on Give a Fire Restoration Outreach Church. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for every gift. We thank you for every giver. <clears throat> that none will suffer lack for what they give, God, but that you would greatly increase us. Yes, According to our faith. According to your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 36 feet with 100 fold. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Meeting us here. Yes, God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for worship. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for restoration. Yes, God. Continue to grow us. Jesus. Every capacity of our lives. For as we go down from this place today, never ever in your presence. Keep us. Don't let the enemy overthrow our faith. Yes. Let him hinder us Jesus. and cause us to do otherwise yes. than that in which you've called us to do. Yes. We love you and we bless you and we honor you. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.